exactly what you are looking for. The five that I um, put in was um, Beauty from Ashes, which was um, supposed to be, oh, I didn't have that on my sheet. Um, I'm thinking that, uh, oh, I had, I had um, the, the emotions that went along with these, but I did that only on your comment that I sent you, not on my notes. Right, but, but, but Barbara, uh, not to interrupt too much here, but like, oh, let's okay. look at what we have in front of us here. Let's, you know, like, what is, what, you have two images, right? Uh, and what's on the screen right now? Yes, let's deal with what we have on the screen. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is, so three that images. One image, and it is based on the um, storyline, one of the storylines that I chose. And okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So okay. let's, let, let's just, let's, here's what I, here's what I'm seeing. And maybe you could, you, could, you know, confirm what I'm seeing. Okay. We're talking about all this in here, right? This, this is one particular story, is that right? Everything you see on the screen is one, it belongs to one story. One oh. energy map, a thrust map, and then her final sketch, her final sketch, but like a sketch that brings it all together. I'm laying it out so that we can see all three parts of her process. Yeah. And you're, you're uh, three different images basically on there. Yeah. Like you see, um, um, what's it called? The energy map first. And then I, we really hadn't talked too much about doing this other, which I was just calling it a line map. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, <coughs> we, call, we call it a thrust map. Thrust map, okay, I mm -hmm. did that. And then I laid down just a real quick gesture of the drawing that I felt would work with those okay. two ideas. Okay, thank you. So in other words, what, what we have here is just one particular story. Yes. Yeah. And in that story, my um, emotion or, or um, mood that I am trying to convey is um, a sense of renewal. And so that's why I tried to change the charge. I'm probably using all these terms wrong. Um, where I started out on the bottom um, with it being, that's going to be like the bulb of, uh, of like an amaryllis um, is very um, coarse. And um, I'm going to emphasize all of that to give the sense of it being um, almost like something that is decaying or, or has died or has gone dormant. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I also used then in the um, in the first one um, the um, I have a hard time remembering these terms energy map um, I used the uh, arches going down to kind of hold all of that negativity kind of was my sense my feeling um, uh, made that um, more um, dark and um, then okay 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 so so right in the middle you have the thrust map with the dominant diagonal is that correct yes right and the dominant diagonal I, I see that happening with respect to um, this line comes here, this comes here, but on that really, I mean, over here, this is just your, ener your, th your energy map, but it yeah. seems to be somewhat obscure over there. Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess I hadn't really determined that yet in my energy map. When I was doing my energy map, okay. I was okay. just thinking more in terms of um, literally the feelings that I wanted to convey. Yeah, let, okay. me, let me jump in here real quick. Um, when I look at this, Barb, I want you to understand and walk away with confidence that in my assessment, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? okay. Um, and I want to be careful before you say too much in your own head that what you hear is this is right okay and the okay. dog agrees okay? okay so you start with the energy mm -hmm. because that's the closest thing to your idea yeah. okay that, that's the emotion you get it down on paper mm -hmm. 
That's the design aspect of it. Then with your thrust map, that's more of a composition. That's kind of where you're starting to say, okay, let me make some layout decisions. Okay, I want my dominant vertical here, my dominant horizontal there. Um, you may or may not have this thrust, uh, this diagonal coming in your energy map mm -hmm. because that's not what you're thinking about over here. You're just thinking about the energy. Now you're thinking about a thrust map, and now you're taking your energy map and your thrust map, and you're kind of coming up with this third drawing, which is it has the energy and it has the thrust, okay? And okay. so this is a very effective sketch to begin your design with. Okay. And from your idea, your emotions, your thoughts, and now you're bringing it all together. Mm -hmm. All right, Bill, jump back in there. Oh, thank you. Well, no, I, I agree with that, it makes sense. When I, and I really, you know, I have to confess, I, I found your, your um, your map here, first map. I said, oh, it's the geometry. She, she sees the geometry. It's, it's the right triangle. <laughs> well, that is, right? Yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah, that was kind of an accident. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? I, I said that was kind of an accident. Um, right, but, but, but I mean, I'm bringing it up because it's, it's showing us how, how it all plays out. And actually, it's, it's really nice because when you go to find your grids, okay, that you use your dominant diagonal to help you find the grid. And on this rectangle, it looks like a, a what, a, a 90, um, a 90, well, 60, basically like the, yeah, I think it's 90, 60, 30 degree rect tri triangle, right? Which ultimately becomes a root three rectangle. So I, I don't know off the top of my head, but I think when you get into your, um, choosing of the grid, it will be what we call a root three, which I believe is uh, the horse grid, Bill. Yeah, I think that's right. You know, I, I kind of, I'm not going to go off on a tangent. I, I, I was going to go and actually figure it out, but okay, let's, let's, out stay, let's weeks. stay where you are. Getting back, so now, does anyone else have comment on, on what Barbara's done? No, it looks great. No, it looks really good. Well, why, why does it look good? Well, I can see the combination of what she did here with the energy map and then the thrust map. I, I see that happening in her sketch of her image. So right. now when you're starting to look at the, the, the sketch, you're starting to see her thinking. You, you, mean, you see the flowers, of course, in the pot and the plant, you know. But you're starting to see her thinking, oh, she wants this explosive energy up here. And there's this, this um, uh, she's drawing our eye down, down towards the bottom over here. So it's almost like something's weighing us down and pushing. And then at the top, something's exploding out of it. And then you're looking and saying, okay, well, her dominant vertical is here. The diagonal is here. This arabesque is coming through here. This horizontal is here. The highest point, con point of contrast is up at the top left. And it's all becoming intentional. Nothing it, at this level is intuitive now, right? Every, every mark you've made, Barb, was an intentional decision, correct? Correct. So how, how, did, that, how did that feel? <laughs> you, you, beat, you beat me to it. You beat me to it. Okay, how does that feel? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bill. Uh, it was really fun. It, it felt really good. I felt... Um, I feel more confident now about the next steps because I have worked out some of the, the ideas, the concepts, the emotion, um, and even, you know, some of the composition, the layout, the design. It, it's already been done. And this really didn't take me maybe an hour to do um, the entire process. So um, a, a little longer if you include, you know, the Photoshop time of downloading and, and figuring out how to use all the layers and everything. But, but as far as the actual just sketching and drawing, um, you know, that was pretty much uh, about an hour's worth of time. And, and now I feel really um, confident um, about stepping in and approaching the actual painting. Well, okay. you're, you're not going to be painting anything yet, but, uh, but at least you're stepping closer to, oh, to it. <laughs> you, got, you got a couple more weeks. 
<laughs> so, can't so, it took me an hour. <laughs> so, 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 um, I think Debbie, is there anything you want to add to this about going from the energy to the thrust to the gesture? Um, no, but I, I think I've been driving in heavy snow all day, so I'm okay. I'm kind of toast. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um, we'll let you go on that. Connie, you have any kind how would you uh, look at this? What would you say? I didn't hear you, the question. So how, how are you seeing this? I mean, I know this is your second time. Okay, would Barbara say, how did that, would Barbara say? Oh, I commented on it already. Didn't you hear me? No, I must have had a senior moment. I forgot, because you took tell me. <laughs> senior moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just made a comment about how her energy map and the thrust map, I can see the results of that in her drawing, in her okay. sketch. Right, right. And I think, the, for me, a noticeable fact is that in the energy map, it's not a clear, it's not a clear uh, uh, diagonal. Not clear, but it's implied, and she takes it through to the other side, which I think is very nice. All I right. don't know how she came up with that thrust map, that particular. Uh, well, I, I think I think she went ahead in the lessons and, and checked it out. She yeah, watched. She, I, she, I did. I I went um, to the some of the videos, and um, we've talked a little bit about thrust maps, and maybe some of that's been primarily in some of the other um, meetups that I have had the opportunity to sit in on. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but no, when we when we had that Sunday meetup that one time. Um, Victor talked about the thrust map and showed us the dominant horizontal and diagonal and all that. Um, I actually was thinking in terms of the, the flowers already when I did the very beginning energy map even. And that is something that I hadn't been doing. Um, I had been just trying to create these energy maps based on just um, an abstract idea. And I was really kind of struggling with that. I don't think abstractly very well. And um, then I saw some of the examples actually did show the energy maps where they um, they suggested a subject. And mm -hmm. um, Deb's uh, energy maps that she presented last week yes. um, suggested a subject. So I thought- Yeah, that oh, seems like that would be a lot easier. Yeah. Really yeah. <clears throat> One of the, uh, uh, Donna in, on Tuesday mornings, she, she, <laughs> she keeps changing the names of the things I name uh, and, and, I, and I love it. So she calls it an echo map. And I, I just thought, like, wow, that's such a great word um, to call it. Because in essence, at least for me, it, it really is the same uh, principle. But um, let, me, let me see something here. Wait, how? So if you, let's say if, you, if you're looking and you're saying, okay, I, I like to maybe put a flower in here, right? So, right? so there's a quick gesture. But then what you can do is you can say, okay, well, then what we're going to do is we're going to echo this part of the flower out. We're going to echo this part of the flower out. So now it's not just becoming about this object. It's right. because, like the whole painting vibrates. It has an energy, an echo that, yeah. that carries the, the, that flower all the way that's, out. That's what we create the resonation. Exactly. Now, now I will say that um, the first step I had was that I had already decided um, two things. I had decided um, what my general subject matter was going to be, the flowers, but mm -hmm. I also had decided what the story was that I wanted to tell. I wanted to tell a story of renewal. Mm -hmm. And so that was where the energy map then started to come in, was how yes. do I take flowers and say renewal with them? And, um, well, Barbara, started, yes. Barbara, isn't that the natural way of doing it? In other words, that's the invisible. And if you look at, if you look at the, your energy map, your energy map is just stuff, right? 
But what happens, it's like the, the, the dream catcher for the, for the Native Americans. Mm -hmm. Come in here with your thrust map, and that catches the dream. And then you can go oh. forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I think you're doing uh, great work. Great. Is there anything else you want to share or comment about that? I, I, I want to make another comment on this, because now we have to destroy you. <laughs> um, okay. <Don't> <laughs> okay. She's like, bring, bring it on. I'm so confident. I'm concerned, and this was, you know, just kind of winging it. So, uh, um, you I'm talked about the renewal. Um, and let me ask you a question What is this angle called? Uh, that is correct. Oh, what man. Is, Get ready, that? Barbara. Barbara. What? What did she say? I didn't hear. Oh, she's the sinister. Get, hey, Barbara, get, 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 get ready. Get ready. He's going to lay it on you. Go on heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Gotcha. So, so okay. a, a, Alice, actually, let's have a conversation with Alice real quick. Yeah. And then, Barbara, I want you to, to agree or, or disagree, okay? Okay. So, th what did you say, Alice? What's the name of this um, diagonal? Sinister. Okay. Now... Visually, <coughs> if you're going to uh, want to convey the concept of something being renewed or brought into life or, um, or growing, becoming engaging, mm -hmm. would you want to do it on a sinister diagonal or on a Baroque diagonal? Probably on Baroque, huh? Alice, your thoughts? I would, would you... go Baroque because that leads you into the subject. Okay, so here is the difference. Uh, why don't we do this? Where am I? Now, I guess I'll question, that. if I could. Um, Alice just said that the Baroque leads you into the picture, but if we read from left from top left to right, why doesn't the sinister lead us into? Right. I said the sinister take is, is a downward movement, not an upward movement. At least that's how I understand it. Um, is it in general, in general. That's my perception. All right. Um, there is an answer to her question. The, 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 the answer is this, Barbara that we do read from left to right. However, looking at these diagonals, it, it reads like this. It will be from top left to like bottom right. Bottom. And then it will be from bottom left to top right. Yeah, okay, I can see that. So what happens also is when, when, we, when, when we do that, okay, um, let's get rid of all this here real quick. This is a sinister, okay? So we're going to start here. We're going to end here. Because we start here and this line shoots us to here, it moves us very, very quick to the finish. And when our eye moves that fast to the finish, it acknowledges what's down here, doesn't acknowledge what's up there. So okay. it feels like we haven't seen everything, mm -hmm. right? Because we went from here to here. Now, if we go the other way, here, well, what happens is if we start here, our eye has to come down here, travel up there, come down here, so we get all of this and all of this. We feel like we've seen everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? So okay. if you want to make it feel secretive, then do it on a sinister. If you want to make it feel like there's a, a, a special moment, like you're, you're, you're being brought into this little secret, sacred spot because, you know, that's what this is. And, and all this stuff, it, it's there, but it's really not important. Mm -hmm. And use your sinister. If you want us to feel like we're, we're seeing everything, mm -hmm. then you use the Baroque. And so now... Mm -hmm. and then, I could add here, it, uh, I'm not sure, but it seems to be, Barbara, this is your, this is your favorite lineup. You line your work up on the, on the sinister. I, I do, don't I? I, I yes. was just thinking that same thing. That's right, and, and, and part of that is because, well, I won't say 100%, but... You won't tell us the stories. 
I right, know. exactly. That's, that's, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Nope, nope, nope. Right. Right. Because, because, you won't, because you won't tell us the story. That's stories. not going to work. Uh-uh. It's <laughs> not going to work. <laughs> No, 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 no. You're going to guilt me into it. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's just a metaphor. I don't want you to, I don't want to know your stories anymore. I don't want to know. Yeah, we're past that. All right. But, but what I'm sharing with you is that, that psychologically, you're, you're, you're broadcasting that, hey, look, guys, I got stuff to tell, but I'm not going to tell you. Yep. The you same, thing, I mean, same thing with Julie. Same that's thing. interesting, though, because I feel like I'm an open book. You, uh, no, you're not. Yeah. Women like you are very, very easy to pick out. You're, you're, <laughs> you're very, very open with what, you're, what you let people are, know. And you just keep throwing out the chicken feed. You just keep throwing out the chicken feed. And, uh, but that sacred water? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> there might be a few secrets I'm not sharing, yeah. Yeah. I, I have uh, uh, several friends like you. Where, uh, you know. So, so here's yeah. the point, Barbara. <laughs> it's funny. Barbara, here's the point. I can say, I'm not concerned about your sacred waters anymore. What I'm concerned about is when you do your fine work, that you give the impression that you're telling more than that you have accustomed to telling. That right. I am telling more? Yeah, in other words, like if you do it on, on the Baroque, you give the impression through your visual work that you're open, that you're giving more information. Oh, okay. It's a different, see, it's not about you anymore. It's about your images that you're, you're manufacturing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, 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 exactly. Because now you're entering into a very, very unique relationship with the muse. When the flower was the model, well, then it was about you. Mm-hmm. When it's about the muse, it's about the us, right? It's about that relationship, that conversation that you're having with the muse. And the muse is telling you, hey, Barbara, if you want to, you know, if we want to share a story about renewal, Mm -hmm. then we have to share that story about renewal, right? Right. And and having this, this sinister diagonal doesn't do that okay so um now also i'm thinking also that maybe you've gotten this maybe you're a follower of that lady laura whatever her name is laura no i I mean but no but what i mean is not that you're you know lockstep but i mean i've seen her images i think her images are on the on the sinister a lot of them okay but it's, it's it's irrelevant but i'm just saying as Victor said it very well, you're with the, as I said on your interview, you are, you've been tapped on the shoulder to represent the flowers. And they're telling you, hey, lady of the flowers, you know, do us right. You know, if you want to talk about renewal, we'll give you the information, but you have to craft it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Information. Now, I have a question for you then, going on, on that basis. Um, you basically flipped the flowers over, right? Yes, yes. Correctly. So um, is it pretty much the same? I'm trying to kind of spot my diagonal and stuff in here. It, it's almost like everything ha- has just been kind of flipped, right? Well, the, the flower part, I mean, that, and that's what you're going to have to do. Really, the only thing that needs to be flipped mm-hmm. is your diagonal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that diagonal might now come here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Which then right. now the question is: is is that okay? Can you keep your vertical, your horizontal, your your? Because right. you, know, you have the three coming up here, which is nice, right? You have a contrast, the arabesque, and the vertical. Uh huh. And <laughs> then you have your <laughs> diagonal and your horizontal coming down here yeah. um and then they're being connected again with this this uh, i'm drawing on everything excuse me victor do you think you could use a contrasting color with the lines that you're drawing so that it's easier for me visually nope 
I'm going to uh, just erase everything. And, and start again? Over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have, yeah, all right, okay. It's so just we, had, we had the horizontals. Mm -hmm. I was feeling you, Alice. Uh, I, I know. I know. confused with myself it, as well. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, it's my job to harass, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I, one I thing. You, Alice, Pardon me? I agree with you. Excellent suggestion. Yeah, it's a visual aid. Yeah. Well, okay, so okay. now if we bring over the um, the dominant contrast, the dominant uh, arabesque, the dominant okay. diagonal, dominant vertical, dominant horizontal, that can become the new thrust map. Um, now, the only problem that I'm really seeing with this is we could bring the the, the um, and you could actually have that sense of renewal over here like that. Mm -hmm. um, there's something kind of pretty about that. It's almost like it's rising. I prefer that. Yeah. yeah, and then it's kind of blooming out, and this is kind of almost standing out on its own, floated in the heaven, you know? It's also not a standard thing. Yeah. In, it's different enough to catch your eye. And the other one looks much more sort of ordinary. Yeah, this one here? The first one looks, yeah, it looks yeah. kind of ordinary. But the second one you've done, it's different enough to please the eye and intrigue you into looking where the other one is sort of, eh, you know, I've seen lots of things like that before. Yeah. My opinion. That's all. I do like the um, second one almost uh, has a sense to me of a dancer. Yes. I feel that movement in there and it's very graceful. And, uh, I like that. And I also like on the, um, that we're using the dominant diagonal, horizontal, and vertical to give us this um, that 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 thrust, and then then we're bringing this beautiful curve up into here, mm -hmm. right? And then using a high point of contrast there to connect our eye to that section over here. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's giving us the, the, the vertical sense of up, up and lifting up, which I thought was, which you, which you showed in your original energy map. You have that energy going up, mm -hmm. and then it's, it goes off to the side where you have your little, little uh, circle thing there. Mm -hmm. See, here, here's what you have in, in the beginning, which I was trying to get across to you here. This, this is not the same. See this here? It's, you have this, well, it's, well, man, it's powerful, moving up. That's renewal. That's, that's what I mean by, you know, rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. But then when you come over here, it's like, oh, well, you know, maybe so. It's pretty, but it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Well, I did have the this, this sense that there was the flower that you just circled, and then I was pulled off down to the right, and it just kind of like ran me off the page yes and i was okay. trying to think how is that reading as renewal because it seemed like it was down and out mm -hmm. yeah. and i i was feeling a sense of maybe on that diagonal the sinister diagonal when you get to the end of that branch at the bottom somehow swinging the curve back around to the base to the base right. of it right it but, 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 but we don't need that now because we, we've, we've changed orientation right yeah Whereas it, right over here, Barbara, you have this here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but we've passed that point. I'm just going back to say that here, for me, mm -hmm. this thrust is, is what it's about. And what Victor was showing before about the, the, the below rect, uh, triangle mm -hmm. is this. It takes the eye up, and then you're going to go up to the side where you have the little thing over here, which yeah. is, it just feels a little better. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I like that. Cool. 
All right. So let, let's see if uh, what else is up on this website. What other goodies we got tonight? So don't worry, Barbara. Not worry. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, what? what am I supposed She's to like, <laughs> Uh, we're wiping the dust off her shoulder. <laughs> yeah, we 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 can, we're gonna get to those sacred waters in a minute. Don't worry. Oh my gosh! I think this is Kathy's here. Yeah, shoot. All right, Kathy, we're gonna take a look at y'all's your little cathedrals here. Um. Yeah, that's a good size. That's seven uh, hundred pixels, eight hundred pixels wide. That's that's good for uh, uploading. Okay. It, it felt too big when I was doing it, but um, you know, it must have been my screen was magnified too far. I, I won't change it. Okay. Um, all right. Can can we see this? Can, can you wow. see that, Kathy? Oh. Huh. I think Kathy went out of the room. Ooh, did she? Well, we can start without her. All right. Um, uh, Connie, did you send over anything? I did send you an email. Okay, you got you sent me the email. Okay, let me. Hey, what you're looking at for Kathleen, is it? For Kathy? Mm -hmm. Is that the stuff that went up? Uh, it's got energy maps calming and embracing and fleeting strong supportive supportable yeah that's 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 right yes that's right okay because i just found it now okay cool all right let me see here oh there you are you've got it up there i found it in the site much bigger. yeah right right we, we have it on the screen yeah well i well he, he was fishing around i went in to look at it in the site because when I was in earlier, I didn't see it. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm good now. It's all right. All on the same page. Hey, you know what? So now, Alice, since you have all that snow up there, man, you, you, you're going to have a bunch of work to show up next week. Uh, well, you know, it would be really nice if I could get back to the studio because uh, yeah. when I was up there, I was working on that, that drawing. I'm just starting to ease back into... Um, actual working when I was notified that everything in my studio has to be packed up uh, because the electricians are coming in there's some kind of conditional building sale and this work has to be done before the 16th of December so the last day that I was in the studio all I did was pack up books take paintings down pack them up pack up the you know okay well anyway so um, I can't get up there even now well, do, yeah, you, do you have a napkin and a pen around? Around? I'm I'm actually drawing. Well, sort of as we speak, but I do. No, that's all. That's all that's required. That's what, that's what I meant. Yeah, but I have stuff up there that I was going to post that I can't post because it's don't, up don't there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get to it. Uh, is Tommy? I mean, uh, Kathy, available now? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get the uh, the image here. So, for some reason, my Emails acting a fool. That's, oh, a new, that's a new hit song. Acting a fool? No, my email is acting a fool. That's right. You I got, was thinking of you. I, I called you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you get a rip, my email is acting a fool. <laughs> <laughs> what what you've been smoking, boy? <laughs> 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 uh, what's going on here? Come on. Well, while he's doing that, I do have the corrections on that um, pregnancy dream that I can put up and share from the last time we looked at it, because I am on a deadline for that stuff. So it would be nice if, if not this week, next week, we could look at that. Okay, well, let's, let's hold tight for a minute. We want to give yeah. you sufficient just, time. I'm just putting in the dibs. That's we'll, all. We'll, we'll put you in the queue because we only have, what, two more people. At, at yeah. Looks okay. like Kathy's coming back. I'm coming okay. back. Sorry. Okay, Kathy, are, are you with us now? Yeah, these are my, this is one page adjustments that I did. Just. And how many pages are there? 
I had two pages of gestures and I think yeah, at least two pages, but I don't know if they all uploaded three pages of the energy maps. Okay. Oh, you did a lot of work, I see. Okay, very good. Um, how do you want to handle this, Victor? Uh, you got to give me a second here, Bill. I don't know you were busy. Okay. Uh, I got to close a whole bunch of stuff out. It's not computers acting. Acting a fool. Acting a fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got to still have that as part of the, the academy. But you yeah. acting a fool. We have one of them days, man, where even your computer's acting a fool. Right. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll try to get Connie's st stuff after we get through Kathy's here. Um, I just want to brighten this puppy up a wee bit. You can see it. <coughs> oh. Okay. Just give me a second here. That's the bad elevator music. <laughs> now, I had a question for Kathy. Um, yeah. When you were talking, it sounded as if you were um, saying that there were two different things. You had gesture drawings and you had energy maps. Mm -hmm. But um, for you, Victor, aren't those the same thing? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, they are? Yes. Uh, just, for us, a gesture, an energy map, an echo map, it's all the same thing. Oh, I was thinking of them as different things. But. <clears throat> so why don't you walk through these six here? Um, playful, truthful, and oh, I kind of like those. Well... I was trying to work with a square format, mm -hmm. and I was thinking of a, I thought of a word that I wanted to try to describe, and I was trying to you know get that the the diagonal what's it called again <laughs> the definite diagonal and the vertical and mm -hmm. the um, arc or the arabesque in into the design. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, I was. I, it was kind of felt like I was kind of successful in some of them, but then um, I, I kind of like a couple of them. And I, and I also based it on, I based it on landscape and I based it on some ideas I had just had random in my head from different landscapes that I've done, um, pathways, openings in the woods, um, what artist, when looking at this, anybody, does this work remind you of? What great master in the history of our legacy? Does uh, Kathy's uh, images remind you of? Hmm. No, I, I don't know. The bottom two look like Moreau. Let me show. I'm thinking the upper ones had kind of a Van Gogh line quality to them. <laughs> they do, right? Um, let me share the screen with you here. Here are some clump trees. Oh, I love those. Right there. This is the one I was originally thinking of. <laughs> Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh. You see why the energy map is very, very important? Mm. It's, it's just capturing them. I mean, look at these. Mm. Beautiful. These aren't trees. These are designs. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. he's capturing the soul of that moment of looking at the trees in that space, in, you know, in relationship to the earth. I mean, even in relationship to the sky, there's only you only see one, two, three, four, five pieces of sky. That's so cool. <laughs> and in all of that orange and yellow green, right there at the top, it's almost like the skies are stars in a constellation, right? But 
the woods are so thick that you, you know you only see these five little dots of of, of light coming through them. Um, there's almost like a a playful um, ghost feel to it, almost. Mm-hmm. Like you're looking at the trees, but you're looking through the trees. Look at that. Mm. Oh, look at that sky. This is, imagine being a lake down here. Lady of the lake. (laughs) It's just throwing it out there. Um, He can go intense with some color. I don't even think this is his, to be honest, that one. Just too weird and intense. But um, look look at these. I mean, just these beautiful horizontals coming through here. And then when you come back to um, this, you feel like you're you're sitting in the same studio. Hmm. Look like you're ruffling through his papers. Hmm. How dare you! I did not get to his mind. <laughs> he just hijacked that man's mind, man. What you doing over there? We talking about witches and magic last week, and now you're like, you know, going back in time, sucking the man's soul out, <laughs> incarnating poor Klimp. He's like, I was resting in peace. What you doing with me, Kathy? <laughs> Go sit in the stream. No. Um, <clears throat> But that's as soon as I saw these. That's I mean, it's interesting because this these are very interesting. I want to know which ones came first: this one, this one, or that one. The so first of all, go back. No, go back to the nut. That one was first. The very top one. See how hesitant I was. Oh, I see. <laughs> these then, are so they went in order, and I started to like feeling it. <laughs> Then it went to the next, that page. Actually, there was another page that I'm missing here. That's okay. You did. Then, you did. Yeah, I mean, it's all about the same. Yeah, it was, what I love about here is like, you're just kind of trying to figure out this line thing. I don't know what the, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I was trying to think of a word and then making the, making the gesture go to the word. But what, watch this, watch this. You're just trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. Yeah. And then you, and then something happens and you get it. And now you're not trying to figure out what you're doing. You're tr- you're, now you're going into different thoughts. You're playing with thoughts. This heavy mark here is a thought. This mm-hmm. down here is a very different thought than this in this area here versus this energy up here. These very thin lines here. There's so many layers of thoughts. This is fun. Like uh, I'm, I'm reading your mind here. I mean, seeing what what's going on. I mean, look at this thought here. This really, really dark area here. This little thought down here. It's almost like a somebody who who's, who's maybe going home, you know, after playing in the woods all day, and now they're kind of going up <laughs> to the house on the hill or something. Oh yeah, uh, it does look like that. <laughs> and you know, here's here's an energy up here. There's something you're thinking of something right in here and then you're bringing another charge down here. So this is a very different mental place than this. Mm-hmm. And then, and then you do these things, which don't have the, the, the visceral energy of this. But this has a much more sophisticated, intelligent kind of energy. Well, and this was this is more reflective of what I wanted to end up with. These these kinds of um, feelings, mm-hmm. you know, the tranquil, the reflective, the whole sacredness. I want to end up with that kind of feeling. There's mm-hmm. one more page that didn't come through that has that peaceful sphere. They're more of a horizontal format. So I was experimenting with format also because mm-hmm. I think that's important to how I mean, like when I did spiritual it was more of a horizontal and I did a radiant that was more horizontal the contempt to me just felt more horizontal mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I guess just to move on um, we'll go around the room and, and let's just focus on this on these six here okay mm-hmm. 
for next week, I want you to nail down your five. And then I want you to kind of be where, um, where Barb was today in terms of taking this energy, these echoes, adding a thrust map to it. If you need to know what a thrust map is, um, there's a video in the uh, bonus section under story. Okay, the bonus videos, watch that. Um, or you can pick up the phone and ask uh, uh, Barbara. Since she's a master and so confident with thrust maps now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's walk, let's go around the room. And everybody, and what, you're not allowed to say that you like it. We all know that you like it. Okay? <laughs> if you, there's something that you would want to fix or push or explore, that's what we're here for. Our friends and family can say, oh, that's pretty. Here, we're going to push, okay? So who's going to push first? <laughs> Connie, okay, since you volunteered. Okay. I'm curious about the one, there's titles on these, but the upper right one, it doesn't have a title, which is fine. Um, it looks like it's dangerous. It looks like danger to me. Well, the truth. <laughs> it's probably because of the, is it because of the like slight angles of the lines and kind of pointiness that is pointing down? It looks like daggers. Is that why? Yeah, I think so. It looks dangerous. Just I just feel like you're in danger in that one That's rather than <clears throat> truthful. Not I think one thing that lends to what you're saying too, Connie, is the arches at the top. Um, I feel like something is holding it down or creeping in from the top. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's sort of like um, those lines are trying to to get free, but something is stopping them. That's mm. what I'm seeing in that one. Now, what's beautiful about this conversation is in some places we would have conversations of, and they would be using the same words like, oh, I feel like this is this weight and it's pushing us down and it feels dangerous. And, and then they leave and you're just like, okay, I've just wasted that three hours of my life. Uh, <laughs> but here it's not wasted because when, when you bring it up, you're figuring out why it makes you feel that way. And once you figure it out why, now you can become intentional, it becomes a tool. So using curved heavy lines like that, that push the eye down, becomes a tool that you can use now. Um, having those dagger feel, you know, jetting down, those triangles that are pulling, you know, that are shooting us down, making us feel like there's a sense of danger, not only coming down, but also going up. It's almost like teeth, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So you can now use that and embed that into your work if that's something you want you know, to convey. I mean, this would be perfect for a little Red Riding Hood story, right? Because all of a sudden, you, I mean, you almost feel, oh, what big teeth you have. I mean, you feel that the woods are dangerous, you know, in that sense. There's something. You can't see the wolf. You can just feel there's a sense, there's a presence of danger or this overwhelming, like, this weight that, you know. Okay. And, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to shut up now. Continue. I'd like to know why, to, how Kathy sees this as truthful. Well, you know, when I did this, I wasn't really aware that I was making those points at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think I just meant for them to be like lines as kind of random. And I wanted a, the spaces. I was looking at the spaces, not really the lines. I was looking at the negative space. So my main focus was the, the negative space at the top underneath that arch. So that, I don't know, to me it just, I don't know how, how to What work. is truthful? I mean, how do you, yeah. I, mean, if, I mean, that's one thing that we have to figure out. I mean, we can all quickly come to a, an idea of what hope might be or being mm -hmm. scared, but what, what is truthful? Yeah, it's pretty challenging. It is a pretty challenging thought. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, I don't know what was in my head at that time. 
when is I was it, doing this it, one, but <laughs> tell you the truth. Is it maybe more about, <laughs> about, um, about openness? Um, it, you know, it, it comes to mind immediately because that was being discussed on, on my piece before, but um, isn't that really what you're thinking or, or what you're talking about when you say truthfulness, that someone is being open with you? They are sharing of themselves with you. Um, they're not hiding anything. Maybe we should ask the lady of the lake, Zen master, Deborah. <laughs> um, oh, great Tao of the lake. <laughs> Towel us off with your wisdom. <laughs> what are your thoughts on on that truthful word? She gone. Well, I, oh, <laughs> no, I'm still here. Uh, what I was thinking about truthful, and I was thinking about when somebody talks about laying something bare as being truthful, and. So I, that was what was running through my mind. So I was trying to get my head around these spaces and how do they represent a truthfulness. And I'm not quite sure. Okay, so yeah. truth, truthful is a very subjective thing as Victor pointed out. Mm -hmm. And often, sometimes people think of truthful as being this beautiful, you know, horizontal. That's not ne necessarily so. Right. And that's what first came to my mind. And, and I was thinking, okay, these are verticals. If I'm, if I'm freaking pissed off, if I'm really pissed off at something and I look at you and I'm like, yeah, hey, how you doing? <laughs> you know, and I'm acting all calm and nice. I ain't truthful. So right. I, to be truthful, I need to be violent. I mean, I don't doesn't necessarily mean I go kill something, but like I need to have that energy, right? Like because I need to be truthful. So truthful is far more of a principle, not necessarily like an act, like an action or emotion. Mm -hmm. And um, and and so you really, it's like it's truthful if it's effective. Like if you say I'm going to jump up, and you jump up, and you do it, right? It's it's like integrity like, there's a, something about it in that sense so i just think you we just need to get rid of the word truthful because yes. all, all of these are truthful mm -hmm. if they work right uh -huh. well, i remember you're talking about a verb and i don't know if truthful is actually a verb maybe yeah. it is i don't i'm not sure i don't i uh, I don't know. Bill? Truthful means oh to be full of truth. It's a noun. Well, it's a gerund almost, but it's, it's not a verb. Okay. That's true. That's true. But the, the beauty of the language is we can make it what we want. But if we go back to what Victor said, let's take away the title. Mm -hmm. Look at, you know, the, the energy. I, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Can I say something just in line with the, the word truthful? Um, when I first saw this, before I saw the word, truthful, when you scrolled it down, what I thought of is I'm inside the dragon's belly looking out through the teeth, and the <laughs> fire is going to come out from there and burn and clean things. Then you scrolled it down and I saw truthful. More like cleansing, maybe. Yeah, that, yeah I was inside the belly of a dragon looking through its teeth. Well, now, let me ask it is more of a cleansing feeling. Or that could have been dangerous, but like 10 minutes after. Or yeah. But <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> You're seeing danger from the other side. From to the other me, side of the to me, it was the moment before it happened. So that then I'm looking out through the teeth and the fire would come out. Then it turned out to be truthful, which is interesting. It's the same mm -hmm. thing with the word playful. I don't see that as playful at all. Maybe it's my headset the last yeah. week or so, but the first thing that came to mind was Edgar Munch's The Scream. Mm. Because mm. to me, those two center lines are holding the side of the guy's head. I have a very, very um, interconnected visual memory. Well, okay, let me, let me ask uh, Kathy okay. this. Yes. Um, magic Stream. It's being Magic Stream and you have the connectivity with the stream. Are these images for streams? 
No. Oh, okay. Well, the, bottom two, the bottom two are. Okay, so that's the bottom two are. There was another page I didn't put on uh, because I just somehow I missed it. But um, you're saying there's no stream in these? No, just on the bottom two there is. Huh. The top. The top two I was, the top two I was thinking of. I see, I see strings in all six of them. I don't know about you, but I don't know. I do too. Do you really? Heck yeah. I think in the the truthful one, the more I'm looking at that, for me, there's a sense of solidity and openness at the same time. And I think that horizontal line kind of gives the open feeling back there, but all the verticals give a sense of solidity. So I guess that I, I find that a kind of a, for lack of a better word for it, a solid, earthy, <coughs> kind of oh, lots of chi in one solid space. Very I'll tell you what, 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 what I'm seeing here uh, as a rhythm. I see that you have that horizontal place really almost identically in the top four images. Mm -hmm. and that, was then, that was intentional. Ooh, using wonderful words. Look at you. I'm loving it. All right, so what I'm seeing is here. What's intentional is you're using that space to that relationship. Then you're setting some type of open area that you're trying to call attention to, okay? Mm -hmm. See, this is part of thinking in terms of a collection, right? Mm -hmm. Then to the open area, you have some type of pathway, okay? Yeah. And then in this case, it's, 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 it's strange because it's not really a pathway to it, but there is a space. Um, there's a clear opening that leads into there. Um, so right. I, I kind of like that because now you're giving yourself a set of elements that you get to organize in different ways in different images, and yet it, it brings continuity to all, all the images. Um, and I really encourage you to play with that. Just, you know, help you through the design process and, and learn to think more like a designer. Um, mm -hmm. what, what are your thoughts on that? I like me. Are you talking to me? I'm not really talking to anybody. Oh. It was a collective you. Okay. <laughs> you <are. laughs> here's, something, here's something that I, I'm finding. Could you... Just raise it up a little bit, Victor, the images there. I guess the bottom, the tranquil and the, yeah, thank you. These pieces for me are like uh, David Hockney in his landscapes. And even though they don't have that clear opening that you mentioned in the, in the four above, they still have for me that, that openness, open feeling. Um, for example, you know, we have this energy here, it's, it's open, and this is, this is open, and they seem to work together. Even though they're separated, but there's an openness. And similarly here, these guys are, you know, they're, they're suggestive of some type of connectivity. It's a different way of looking at the stream, maybe aerial streams or segmental streams, I'm not sure, but... Uh, I think that's something to look at as well. So when I, when I look at those bottom ones, I don't, I, I see much more of like a lakey type of feel to it, Bill. Like a big, like a bigger body of water, an open body of water. Right, you know, right. Versus streams are very, you know, they're small, intimate, um, you know, they bring life in the, and, and they, yet they don't come across as threatening, you know. Well, you know, here's an interesting thing. The streams make up the, the lakes, right? Right. So we have these streams that come to the lake. So in other words, if you're telling a story, you have these streams, and then maybe as a end of that particular story, you have this tranquil tranquility, you have this here as a result of the, 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 the journey that the water went through by the streams. Mm 
Okay. Um, I'm also curious about the one uh, sacredness. Um, again, is that a, a, a verb? Is that an emotion? Sacredness? I'm not sure I'm understanding the interpretation on that one. Well, <clears throat> what, what would sacredness be? What would be the emotion that you're trying to? I guess a, a feeling of um, a feeling of faith. You know, I, I have the, the vertical, a strong vertical and a strong horizontal as kind of my anchor. And so I started with that. And from that, I started thinking of what could I do to this design to imply faith? So maybe sacredness is the wrong word, but, and I, so then when I made that oval at the top, I did that next. And so the rest of it was just kind of, what can I do to fill in these, these negative shapes to give a feeling of, to give that feeling of faith. And also, I was also thinking of woods and then opening it into woods. In the bottom part, I was thinking of, at first I had it all just open space with just a few curved lines. I think I added too many curved lines, but I kind of, I was thinking of water down there at the bottom, like maybe part of the stream. So I probably just did a little bit too well, much. What I, what I can add, That's what I was, that was my train of thought when I was doing that one. The, the, the sacredness is in, is in the, the, the circle. And if you're riding down in your canoe, as it were, along the stream, right? You're riding along and you stop here. You got to go over here into this little sacred grotto. It's like a grotto. You go over in there. That's where the sacredness is, over in there. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen, I felt that before looking at rivers where you have that little tiny spot at the end and it, you know, that's the kind of that's the kind of feeling you get when you're looking at it right well, that's that's what you're talking about is sacred and it means it's revered because of sanctity set aside <coughs> for awe and wonder and mystery generally spiritual is what that kind of means like yes. literally that's what the word means reverence yeah, reverence. yeah. yeah. Awe, awe and mystery identified with spirit i'm writing this down alice oh. i should have consulted with you for my words <laughs> and um when you were asking about truthful it's um an adjective it's not a verb oh and if you if it was um truthfully it would be an <laughs> adverb so an adverb describes the verb or the action word, and an adjective describes the noun. Mm -hmm. So some part of us knows those things about language. So if we're going to look at the word truthful, and it's an adverb, what's the... No, 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 truthfully. Truthful is an adjective. All right, if it's an adjective... The noun and a, an adjective describes the noun, which would be truth. Truthful means it's full of truth. truthful if you say word. truthfully, now it becomes an adverb, and an adverb describes <coughs> the word. <coughs> All right, so what I'm trying to get to is what is the word that Kathy is going to attach to the word truth, truthfully, truthfulness, whatever it is. I don't think that's the issue anymore because no. these are no. not these are not verbs. No, these are all about sacredness. I've listened to her talking, and it's all about the sacred, and sacredness is set aside, mysterious, reverent. Right. But then again, those those are those are adjectives. The, the mm. gestalt of the experience is is not a an adjective. It's it's an energy. In fact, you look at. This thing on the top right, you feel that energy. That that energy is like kicking it to you, man. Look at it. It's the energy that that's showing. Which one? Which one are you looking at? For Sorry. example, I'll show you the top right. Okay, I'm I'm with you now. Right. The top right. The energy here is just it's kicking it right to you. What it's saying. Now we don't we put a word on it, but that's not. I don't think that's really useful anymore. It's just the energy she's showing. That's why it's called an energy map. The energy is of a certain type. But the overall energy is all this stuff in here. And we're trying to make it, you know, we're trying to say 
truthful, playful. We get, I think that's a way to get lost in the stream. It's all this thing. That yeah, one but the bill, the bill. I agree with what you're saying. For our purpose, we do want to give it a word. We want to name it so that we know when we get in the car and we start driving that we're going to California and not Mexico. You know, we, we want to know where we're going. That's yeah. why we have to give it a title. We have to give it a name. It, yeah. it is becoming more intentional. Otherwise, we're yeah. just randomly throwing energy in there and not really knowing for sure what we're trying to say, which is well, what I've been doing for a long time. It's not directed energy is what you're talking about, yes? Yes. Yeah, so now if you, you know. I get that Bill saying that the piece is telling us what it is, and it is. So right now, Kathy's at a point where she can listen to the piece and move forward, or mm -hmm. she can scrap it and come up with another idea. And, you know, I would say listen right. to the piece because the piece itself is aesthetically, you know, appealing. We Which just one are you talking about? Well, all, I'm looking at the, all, all four of them, okay? But right now – the truthful one, the, the one, the top right. So, um, uh -huh. but now the question then is, what's her name? What's the oh, name of that muse that's speaking to you right now in that piece? Alice said she felt like she was on the other side of some dragon's teeth. Right. <clears throat> yeah. that's, that doesn't sound very pleasant. No. Um, well, no. Hey, you didn't hear everything I said, though. Oh, sorry. It was about ready to burp fire, and you were on the other side, and you were yeah, looking at that, that, that's not necessarily that it's unpleasant, because fire can burn, uh, truth can burn like a fire. We're it's, not talking about truth, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's just cleansing and purifying. I didn't see that as a, a bad, evil image, personally, because I think of a dragon as very powerful. I think that's a really powerful design. I like the design. Yeah, I do. Um, I, I look at this, the, the vertical that's on the left is going straight up through the page, like a, a pathway. Mm -hmm. And if, if that little curve at the top wasn't at it, that sort of seals it off. But if that was open, that's what I see as showing truth. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's a solid mm -hmm. pathway of truth against all this other chaos, this danger, the lies. Oh, I like that idea. I like that, too. Yeah. Shoot. Connie brought it home. <laughs> You're using one of those special bats, aren't you? <laughs> and now it says truthful, and I see it that way. That's is the image of truth. Okay, there you go. That's it. The image of truth. That's different than truthful in this particular yeah, case. Yeah, right. Hmm. And Alice, is that what you're saying then? That in the midst of standing in the dragon's mouth, you can still see that like, there was a. Uh, there's a clear way. There is a clear way through. All right. So then that's what Connie is saying. Why, yeah, that's why I don't find it um, dangerous because to me, even though those pointed things coming down could be the inside of the teeth in the dragon's mouth, there is a clear way through to the calm, the peaceful, the, the horizontal. Well, I think that's the whole – to make the truth stand out, to have the contrast – yeah. One being a very clear, yep. narrow, let's say, path, yep. versus you know all of the all of this um, energy. Dangerous was one of the words which I'm kind of feeling. Uh, tightness, oppressive, mm -hmm. yep. you know, uh -huh. on the outside of this 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 path. Um, so I think the 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 juxtaposition of the two is what makes us feel like oh that's the right way or the truth or whatever it is right like, yeah that's that's the path so um that's cool that's yeah, cool. to me that's very yeah. clear very nice very nice now with, with that 
you want to be then uh well that's interesting too man's playing in his mind i can hear it <laughs> huh Ooh. How does that little change make you guys feel? <laughs> um, it looks like a, it, it, to me, it, it gets rid of the strength of the truth um, riding over all of the, the danger and the lies because now it's something that's sort of, well, it's dividing it and going behind it. Yeah, all the, the curve and the, and the pointy things coming down feel much more, I guess, imposing in, in this lineup. I liked it better with, when it was just one solid. If you I, did, to know, I do too. You to I think, that in, I think it, all the way up. I think it's lost power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Just take off the little curve at the top. Yeah, take the curve off. <clears throat> I don't think you can do that. No, I think you have to have it because otherwise it just leads you right off. Mm. It could be changed in terms of, of um, value. Right. Yeah, but, but we're not we're not at value right now. We, I know. Right, so so let's stay okay. with what we have. What we could do is maybe Key for truth. <laughs> no. <laughs> now it looks like a clothesline hanging from a clothesline. Yeah, that, it is not working. He's hanging on. <laughs> mm. Mm. I think that looks even so, more so, oppressive. So, this is a question for you, Victor. What is it about the 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 art that? You want to move it out? What, what, why is that? All right, this is where my thinking is. Uh, these are the questions that uh, are popping in my head. I'm looking at this space here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here and here on the, on the sides of it. And so I'm like, okay, well, this one goes all the way through. This one actually doesn't go all the way through. It stops, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, this isn't the truth, even though it looks very similar to this one. And yeah. this one looks similar, but it again stops. Yeah. This is like ka 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 ka, yeah. right? This one looks again very similar, but it stops here. Yeah. Right. So yeah. these are all different paths, but there's really only one that gets you to where you want to go. Now the problem is, is in this case, where you want to go is ultimately off the edge of this page. Whoa, 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 wait. That's, that's okay. Wait. That's no, but that's that's an assumption because the. That's assuming the truth is absolute. The truth is always evolving. Therefore, you have that, like the uncapped top of the pyramid. It's always, it's not, it's not pointed. It's flat. You always have more room to grow. Our eye is shooting off the top of that image, Bill. <clears throat> so so how, how, how? If, if you leave it the way it was before. With that little curve, then it's blocked. But that's, that's what I'm it, saying. It doesn't shoot my off the top because I come back down here to these daggers, which are coming back down around. I, I might yeah. go up, but I come back down because of these shapes. Yeah, it's, it's always, it's an evolving process. It's not an absolute. So we all agree, take this little 
sing off of here? Yeah. No, I'm saying leave it. Well, the one thing I think it's missing is a diagonal. What do you, what do you mean? Like, you know, the, the diagonal that either the Baroque or the sinister, it's missing that, that angle, isn't it? Doesn't it need to have some kind of a definite angle to it? No, you do. You have uh, angles in here. Oh, yeah. They're very subtle. Okay. Yeah. But I, you could repeat them like that. Sure. Okay. Okay. And then this is an angle here. I mean, you're looking at it more like a little curve. I mean, if this went straight verticals like this, that would that would be interesting because in the middle, well, that would probably look really weird, but yeah. uh, then that would shoot your eye off. The fact that it kind of curves across a little bit. And maybe what we could do is make sure that when, hold on. When we're just doing the um, energy maps, do we have to think about the, the dominant angles? and? No. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we did. When do we do that? The next step? Yeah. Um, okay. So let's say, uh, let's say we start here. Okay. Um, stroke. I am. Okay, let's go three pixels. All right, so here we are now. So um, what this can do for us is if we bring down this little curve, like here. So you guys want to watch this one because this is going to be a little bit of an important lesson. So if we bring this little curve, maybe what we do is if we're going to use this horizontal, right at that point, from that point, it begins to curve. So rather than having it end up here, okay, mm -hmm. it goes there, okay. Now, and then through the design, you can have these horizontals let me add this in there. And if you want it, you can actually even curve this one if you want to curve it like that so that it actually curves, but that might be a little too much. Okay, so you can see how like as your eye then goes up, even though it yep. goes off, we have something that brings it back. And ultimately, that can be a vignette, which is a little value um, added to darken the edges of the image, which also then makes that a little more like scarier if you want. Uh, <laughs> you can actually bring this probably up and vignette this whole little edge as well. That's kind of cool actually. And this can be like a little vignette, but um, but just making sure that when you when you curve that, that somehow it brings you back into the image. Okay. Yeah. Slow that. That's cool. All right. Good. Can we move on to another uh, location? Yeah. Um, what, if we were going to close this out with Kathy's uh, images, Bill, what, how, how would we do that? Do we want to take a look at Connie's? Um, so we've got about 15 minutes left, all right? Well, I, again, I, I, my question to Kathy is if you're the magic stream lady, mm -hmm. then, you know, um, you might want to get in tap and contact with them. But these guys are, are moving in the right direction even though the bottom two are not stream like mm -hmm. I like them. I think they're effective. And I guess from here, I guess you just have to like 
do your press map, press, press map them out. I'll probably change some of these. Well, why don't, why, ideas, so why don't you consider this? Why don't you just, just say that they're good as they are, they're, they're, they're working for you. Uh -huh. Work with what you have rather than change and, and use that, you know, you're going to be spinning your wheel. Just take, take what you have and work it out. All right, you're not, we're not locked in stone at the moment. Right. All right? Okay. Hmm. So now, what's happening now is you, now your intention will be brought forth. It becomes more intentional. Not, at this stage, you're just like, okay, these are some ideas. These are energies that are giving, that are coming to me. Mm -hmm. Now you want to bring them into the, into the, to the human world. These are more like your uh, ethereal world impressions. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you think I should fine tune these and then, and then do a thrust map kind of like what Barb did? No, the, take these as they are. Okay. And do the thrust map. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because they, they're, I'm not, a, I'm not gonna necessarily agree with the bottom two, um, but at least the top four. Um, the, I think where they are, there's, there's something really nice. They, they, like the bottom two feel like they go together and the top four feel like they go together. I don't feel that all six feel like they go together. Right. If I walked into a show and I saw all six, uh, all six of these images, I would be like, huh, I wonder, she must have had Chinese that day. <laughs> Something didn't go right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Squatty funny. Okay. Um, Can you talk about my people like that, man? <laughs> <laughs> but that's 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 all good. So let's let's get on to Connie, all right? Yeah. Okay. And then. Um, Barb, can you do me a favor this week? Yeah. Uh, on four days from now, whatever day that is, I think it's a Thursday, uh, Kathy is going to post what she has done for her thrust maps. Mm -hmm. Right, Kathy? Yes. And, and, and Kathy's going to hit reply, <laughs> so they, they, right. they show up. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then could you make sure that you just take a look at her, what she did, and, um, and if there's something that needs to, you know, you just kind of give her some feedback on it or whatnot. Oh, absolutely. Happy All right. To. And, and Connie, you're, you're, you're casting. Yeah. yeah, go on. I'm sorry. It's Stab. I, I, I was curious what you wanted me to work on this week. I have no idea. Uh, where were we oh, last okay. week? <laughs> she should be on her thrust maps now. Yeah, I would think so. I think you guys are kind of moving together at the same pace. So, um, so in the thrust map, what would I? I did the energy ones that I posted on the peer review. Yeah, um, and we looked at those last week. So you haven't done anything new since last week on those, have you? No. Oh. Um, I so, guess that I'm wondering. Am I working on a story thing or am I working on just a thrust of energy of those same ideas? Uh, you've already had your story. You already did the okay. echo maps, the energy maps, and we were all like, okay. whoa, right? Yeah. I actually brought yours into the other meetups to show them. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, so you're becoming all famous here at the AOC. <laughs> you the, the lady of the lake is making ripples. <laughs> no, a ripple map. So um, the uh, so now where you're at is where Barb started and and Kathy is, and that is your thrust maps. Okay. So so would I do like the thrust with the dominant? horizontal vertical and that sort of thing but then go on to do a drawing of what yeah where you kind of pull it together 
you have your energy map, your thrust map, you pull it together, and then you can give it a little context, you know. Like okay. if it's going to be woods and a, and, a, and a lake and a, in the clouds or whatever. But all of that is being directed by your thrust map and your energy map. Okay. Okay. So just like, you know, let me bring up um, barbs here again just so that we can see. Okay. So mm -hmm. here's the – she did her energy map. Okay. And then, then being inspired by that, she said, okay, well, now let me make some intentional decisions here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm going to make the dominant diagonal here. I'm going to so, – I mean, if you were looking at this, you would say the dominant contrast would be down here at the bottom. Right. That's not important to her picture, right? It could be if it really was like where – where the life began and where it was coming out of that, that ash is short. Okay. But for her, it's about the beauty of coming out of it. Not, it's not about the resurrection. It's about the, the power of something that's been resurrected, which is the blossoming of this flower or, or whatever. Am I right on that, Barb? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's why this high point of contrast is not down here where – where, 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 where you're crossing from one to the other, mm -hmm. it's up here where there's a blooming and, a, and, a, you know, and the beauty is, okay? So that's okay. a conscious decision she's making. And then um, laying out a, a little sketch for it. Mm -hmm. A question I had about where the high contrast point is, mm -hmm. should all of the dominant lines all come together at that? or is Not necessarily. Ultimately, okay. she's not doing that because, remember, we switched this uh, image of hers. Right. And uh, hold on one second here. I think I mistakenly believed, like, all of them had to converge at the same point. Remember here? Uh, well, there's, there's, there's different strategies. You can have all five converging at the same point for maximum clarity. Or okay. in this case, you can have three. You have a diagonal, um, a vertical, and a curve, the arc. That's okay. three. And then over here, you have dominant contrast and the arc. That's two. Okay. Down okay. here, you have two. And over here, you have two. So, really, okay. as long as there's three in, in one area, then, then you're good. Okay. So, this is the, the main part of it. And then it's going to come over here. So. Okay. So, Three or five, maybe. Yeah. Or four. Okay. That helps. Thank you. Yeah, or four. Or four. Yep. The, um, the thing you don't want to do is horizontal, vertical, uh, diagonal. Okay, so there's two, two, and two. You know, that's something you don't want to do because there is no hierarchy to anything. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Yep. All right. Honey. That's right, I think. Um, you sent it to my email. You say, you say, all right. And maybe it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kane. We still got to get your name, Kane. I'm not sure we came up with a name for you yet. Yeah, but it will come. Oh, these are cool, cool Kane. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys feel like you're 
devolving a little bit when going through this process. Like, mm -hmm. dang, dang, what artists do? What the heck's going on here? Uh, evolving? Do, yeah. Devolving, like you're going backwards a little bit. Devolving. Devolving? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, well, there goes the evolution. Yeah. I mean, I can understand that from, from the point of view that I like to just jump right into a painting and within, you know, an afternoon I've got a painting completed. Now I'm spending a lot of preparation time um, without anything really to show for it, so to speak. Mm. So that, that, that's different, but um, I'm... I feel like I'm learning a lot, and I also um, look forward to the point in time to where I start to actually apply all of this to a painting, because I can see where I will be a lot freer to um, just enjoy getting the rhythms and so on in, in the painting itself, because mm -hmm. I will have resolved a, a lot of my problems beforehand. Yep. Now understand that this process ultimately you're actually working on the painting. Like this is the building of the drawing, right? But ultimately you will put on your canvas and it will become your coloring book or coloring guide, right? right. So um this isn't just work to get you thinking about ideas that then you throw away and then you go and you do your painting the way you used to do it, just with new ideas. You're actually, you know, doing the architecture, thinking through the building of the house. Absolutely. And then I think that's where it's affecting me greatly because I hike almost every day with my dogs mm. and I have found because of what I've been doing with the drawings when I'm out looking in nature I'm seeing directions and things coming together and lining up very differently than I've ever seen it before and I find myself looking at all my paintings that I've done in the past and seeing what's missing now and so for me it's I feel like I'm evolving because um, I I'm just seeing it differently it's it's fabulous i mean there's times i just stop in my tracks and i'm i'm kind of like wow look at this point at that point at that point at that and bang it's so cool <laughs> that's awesome i wish i could hug you <laughs> man that's and press press the virtual hug button no, right? <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See, when, when I hear stories like that, right, the way my soul interprets that is you're experiencing intimately the divine and you're hearing the voice. I mean, to me, it's just not about being able to connect lines and things. It's always there. It, it's just invisible. And now it's becoming visible you're seeing it and this is like why i don't really have a problem with atheists anymore because i've kind of been around so many for so long that i, I just love them but it's one of the parts of where it's like scratches my head because once you see design it's like how do you not believe that there's a greater intelligence behind it all and and when you begin to see it, speaking constantly, you know, and so when I hear your story there, Deb, it just, it touches me because, like I said, it's, it's, nothing has changed except that you've become aware or awakened. The, the landscape has not changed. It's always, no. And it's always it's been always broadcasting. You just didn't know how to hear it. Exactly. So, yes, thank you very much. I mean, it's wow. <laughs> so is, is that is that like the red, the red pill, or the blue pill? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> we should ask Barb about that. 
<laughs> you're talking about the difference between looking at something and actually seeing what you're looking at. That's it. It's perception, perceiving. It's like I like to say, it's going from the model to the muse, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when, we, when you think about a museum, you know what a museum is, right? You look at the etymology of the word museum. It means a shrine to the muse. Mu. I didn't know that. It's yep. a temple, right? Yeah. yeah. It's a set aside sanctuary. Exactly. To the, mu to the muse. To the muse. And what do the muses do? They help inspire the creation of art and things like that, artifacts. Mm -hmm. and, then, and here's a shrine. We're bringing back to them what they helped inspire us to make. You know, so... I mean, the technical definition of a museum is a place where they just hold old stuff. But, <laughs> yeah. but for us romantics, it is a shrine to the muse. <laughs> I like that better. Yeah, me too. And I guess the guy who, or woman who invented the word liked it too. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So let's take a look at this. Um, Kane. What are you using? What's your, what, what pencil are you using? Oh, I was using a pastel pencil. Hmm. I like the uh, thickness of it. Yeah, the texture too is interesting. Well, I started with a pencil, but that was a little thin, so. Yeah, I have a pastel pencil. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, well, walk us through what's going on with these puppies. Um, the the top four there, I was just trying to, these don't really have anything to do with the five paintings that I will do. These have to do with how I feel about the, the vision drawings that I sent you. Okay. Do you want me to bring those up? Um, doesn't matter to me. So the I'd top to four are, are feelings I'm just, just trying to feel draw how I felt about being like burdened and weighed down. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those are different. So I, yeah, I, I did that, but I can feel that in the top three. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the fourth one here in the bottom of, yeah. the, of these four, I'm not sure I actually feel the, the weight part okay. of it. I mean, I feel some weight, but not in a negative way. Uh, okay. To me, that, that feels almost like a, like a sanctuary or a cathedral in the, mm -hmm. you know, of some sort that you're going to, down here, this little curve is where you kind of enter into it. Is yes, a space, right. But, but you're, you're, it almost feels like whatever it is on the other side of this, these marks is huge. It's, okay. You know, so, um, so I just feel like that, that has a very different type of feel to it. But um Okay. I do, I do like this one in the middle a lot. You know, the one on the right feels like there's a, this heavy, insanely heavy weight on someone's back, maybe. Yeah. Like you can really feel it, and and the fact that it looks so freaking heavy and it's bending this this very delicate line, it, it almost hurts looking at it. <laughs> okay. The other one. It's a very thick, it's a much thicker line, right? It, it, its width is almost as, the same as these three layers of, of, of lines. But the, the difference is, is that where the one on the right feels like this heavy weight crushing this other one, this one feels more menacing to me because it feels like this constant daggering in your back, like almost like people making fun of you, saying, ridiculing you, you know, something, you know? Like... Okay. Like this is much more of a a passionate energy weight where this may be, you know, the bills are crushing me, you know, and this. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say something, but I but we're recording, so I won't say. It. But that lady is saying something to me again, you know, or whatever. Um, it just it feels different in that sense. Um, What do you guys think here? I feel like the second one that has the little short lines is almost like um, 
uh, agitation. It, it feels that sense yes. of agitation. So it's good. I couldn't hear you, Barb. It's like a sense of, uh, like the lines feel agitated, like you've got all of these little things just pounding and pounding and pounding at you, and it's just a okay. small kind of sense of agitation. Whereas the other one seems more like maybe a specific burden. So mm -hmm. they both, to me, give, give that same uh, a feeling of, of what you were describing. Okay. Now, let's see something here. The second one for me, now maybe it's an optimist part in me, but I feel like almost like there's light, like like a person's going to lift up and it's going to drop off that heavy weight mm. because of the brokenness of the lines, but the weight is towards the back. And so I feel like you know, there might be some hope there that you could shed this burden where the one to the right of that is like, oh man, that's never going to end. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. crushing. Yeah. So like with, with the hope, one thing that we could do, let's like say here, is ultimately add, add an energy like this and it might even go vertical. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. so, there, there, so there is a sense like there is a possible escape right but without those lines just as she drew it mm -hmm. it feels like that's just the weight of the century on somebody's shoulders yeah. but why would you want to change that because that's an effective expression uh, well why would i <coughs> um for one reason You want another reason? I can think of it real quick. Um, the reason is this. It is absolutely effective. It is going to make someone feel depressed. Okay. Okay, now what? Yeah, the, the thing is, though, I mean, it is what it is. It, this is an expression. Yes. Who the hell is going to buy a painting that's going to make them feel like they want to go jump out a window? <laughs> Listen, I sold a painting um, that was horrific in that I knew I painted three <laughs> in the middle of the night because I knew in the morning they were going to tell me my 27-year-old daughter had cancer. I actually sold the second of the painting to some guy when he was eating dinner. It was hanging in a restaurant and it fit with what was going on with him. Pe you know, difficult things and dark things don't change instantly into great beauty. It usually takes time. And sometimes you are where you are, and that has to be recognized too. Well, look at the scream. I mean, that is... is I was thinking the same thing. Negative uh, energy, and, and yet it's, you know, become a, a great work of art. So um, it, it seems very, very passionate, I guess, the way that she has it, that, that they're... Um, they, there is no question or doubt uh, of what she's trying to convey. The only thing I wonder about is having that, um, what you called changing up the charge, if that's not kind of almost you, you are, um, you're giving a comparison there, the yin and the yang, the, the negative versus the positive, um, both within the same painting. This isn't one painting. These, the, this isn't one image. No, but ultimately, it's a series. Yeah, but ultimately, that's what you're doing these for is to um, design a a feeling that is going to go into a painting. This is only part of the painting. Yeah, only this part of the painting. Yeah. And it's a series, so it's going to evolve as will the expression well, of whatever energy she's doing. What Connie is getting to is <clears throat> she hasn't told us what the series is, right? So in her, this, mind, in her mind, that's something different. What, the series of paintings for the, that we are to sell, that's a different project than what this is right here. Yeah. yeah. So this has to do with a vision that she had. Now, um, until we take a look at the vision, you know, I, 
we won't know what part this is of the vision or not. And, and I guess what you're saying, Connie, is that inside the vision, there's a part where there's a, a weight being on somebody, let's say. There's a part, like there's different types of energies that are going on in, in one image, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. So you, what you could do is you can do one painting illustration of all of this stuff or you're you could let's just say hypothetically say you had a show and each painting could be a photo right. of each could of be a section of it exactly, right. exactly. Mm -hmm. so so really when you walk into the show and you experience the, the the show now you feel like you've are standing in the vision not y yes right, right. One painting right so um now in terms of the conversation we were having about a weight and being with inside of um, an image, um, just a, a standalone painting, something that's like this. Uh, I agree with you all. It's effective and it can be called a work of art. Even if it makes you want to jump off a balcony because it's so depressive. Don't you That's not where it ends. Well, no. well, but we're just talking about this one thing, okay? okay? But, okay, but don't you think that sometimes um, even um, yeah, empathy can be a really good thing? It's like someone that is feeling um, a um, trauma or uh, grieving can actually benefit from being in a support group with other people that are grieving and feeling that same sense. So, um, you know, likewise, uh, what Alice was saying, someone might really connect to... The answer to your question is no, I don't. No? I think a bunch of people sitting around complaining about the same shit is dangerous. Unless you have a facilitator who says, okay, complain for 10 minutes and then we're going to get to work on how to get you out of that crap so you can move on. Without that change, then you're just going to be a suicide club. Why don't we just, you know, get some Kool-Aid right. and die in the totally woods. Agree. So I'm in we got to be very, very, very conscious of what we're broadcasting and we have a responsibility to raise consciousness, not just awareness but actually consciousness. And when you become more conscious, you do say, okay, yeah, this is the truth. I got a lot of weight in my life. But what am I going to do about it? You know, how can I look at that image and acknowledge that there is weight in my life and yet feel empowered, not feel depowered or become a victim or something like that. So that that's where... Maybe that's the illustrator optimistic side of me comes in. Right, but, but that says there's a responsibility with the power that we have, not just to show the problem, but to actually broadcast a way out of the problem. Right, so perhaps the question would be this. Having made that image, uh, Kai, and, and we respect you for what you're saying, is there a way you could shift that? that feeling for us. How would you go about doing that if you wanted to? It continues on to the, that's, that's not no, no, a no, Connie, I, That's my point. I'm just speaking to the, I'm <laughs> addressing Victor's comment about having to make things better or whatever. I'm just saying. And, and I, to add I, to that real quick, Bill, what we're talking right now isn't specific to your work, Connie. We're just kind of having a general conversation, um, you know, just because you made some march and it's a kind of inspiring a really nice conversation that's that's where we're at right now we're not okay. really talking about your work personally go on bill right i'm just saying <clears throat> the way i look at it is i just want one image in the, in the in the image that you have on the page and i i see what, you, what you're doing like the image below that one to me shows a, a shift it shows like there's this energy coming out, you know, power. Then the next one is even more, yeah. really authoritative. You know, all these things are happening. I, I'm just saying, 
I don't think it has to be we have to change or fix everyone, just accept them where they are and see what the feeling is. I agree. I agree with that. All right. So I guess we just move on to, um, you want to share what, what uh, these feelings are here? Um, the one with the verticals and then the, then the diagonals and that is um, moving against a barrier, hmm. trying, to, trying to, to move forwards against obstacles. At the same time, having this weight or a burden that you're trying to move forwards. That's like those 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 barcodes on on your food, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, when I saw this, what I thought, uh, I really like this energy map. Okay, I really like this a lot. I can see this burden even going longer into a very, very long painting. So as your eye travels through it, you almost feel like, is this ever going to freaking end? And then bam, you break through, right? There's this moment of a breakthrough. Um, obviously one thing that you can see this almost as is, um, you know, if you're gonna put it into context, like put a context into it, these could be trees, a waterfall. It had that same, type of um, energy. Uh, I, I also, in a weird way, kind of saw people kneeling and praying, you know, mm -hmm. um, and then maybe like a crowd here, like what are those people doing and other people here. And again, it, w it would still radiate that same energy, you know, like you're trying to, in this case, you're using prayer to push through this barrier, right? Um, you could, Mm -hmm. You know, this is a fort, and here are uh, a group of warriors coming in, you know, maybe with a flag, you know, or something like that coming through. So you can cloak it in so many different types of contexts that still carries that energy of trying to push, either push like it for coming this direction, like it's breaking out, or if we're coming this direction, like it's pushing against something like like some it's pushing up against something you know right. uh, come on so how how would you picture how would you uh visually make that distinction whether it's going down or up it depends on the story you know um if i was going to draw a little uh david here you know maybe i'd put his arm like this here put a little maybe high point of contrast right there you know, warriors back there, little Goliath up here, Arr! you know, his other five brothers. So, I mean, you're still using that same energy. So here are the giants in that story of David, David and Goliath, right? Mm -hmm. So here, here's his five brothers, Goliath, Arr! here's little David. And then uh, maybe up on the hill, you can have the Israelites in the back. Da -da -da -da. Same energy. I guess his, if that's going to be his head, this would be up here. Um, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> but um, so, so it really depends on the story, you know. What's your, what's your uh, like, if you, when you're looking at this, Connie, and you're thinking of a certain aspect of your story, <coughs> Which is the way that it to be should be flowing. Is it if the movement is going to to the left, which I know the movement, you know, typically you're supposed to go from the right or from the left to the right, but this movement always at least this part of it goes from the right to the left because it's because that's the way I saw it. Okay. And I didn't know why, but it's also because it's moving against what is known. Sure, that makes sense. And so by having the eye start here somewhere and having it come this direction, okay, and one way you do that is by lowering uh,
lowering lowering that so now that creates an angle right so that the eye now floods over into here it might even go like that well maybe not and bring it up a little bit here there we are so now that that curves through a little bit but um putting that energy up into there and i like it um I like that it's going on that sinister because when you're going up, you feel kind of like a, a salmon going up a stream. Yeah, right. You're going in the, a, a different direction than you typically want to, but your eye is being forced in that direction. So I think it just adds to the um, uh, to, to to that story that you're telling. Yeah. It works. So what's going on with this circley one over here? Well. That's not working very well for me, but when I was trying to um, indicate fear, which may first is just a big black, a black blackness, but, but also fear is it's spiraling down into blackness. And that doesn't look like very spirally, but that's, but it was fear. Did everybody get that that it was spirally? Mm -hmm. Spirally. <laughs> Spiraling. Spiraling. Did everybody feel that when they saw it? I did. I did. I did. No. So, I didn't feel that it was going down. Now yeah. I feel that it's going down because now you're drawing the eye oh. down. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Before it was like, whoa, spiraling up into fear. Yeah. Spiraling yeah. down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works good. Cool. Okay. Okay. Whoa, I'm lost. Um, now, what's interesting is this. So I'm going to think about the, do you want this to end in relationship to that dot, like on a vertical, horizontal, you know, 45? Well, I, I didn't put any thought into that. But do you see how when you when you end yeah. that mark, how it changes that image a little bit? Right. It's kind of neat. Yeah, it does change. I think it's kind of neat that you automatically ended it on the vertical. When your thinking was, I want it to go down. You're, you're going down in fear, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, if you do it the way you did, it was actually the other way because you would up. up. You still stopped it in the vertical. Yeah, I see. But there's a big difference between ending it there and mm -hmm. there. Yeah, there is. This doesn't feel complete. It's interesting. That's that feels like, shoot, I, I, I fell down and got lost, right? Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh, that's kind of cool. All right. Let's see. Oh, here's this. So these are very... This was another, I was trying to make it look more... I don't know, everyone is drawing little lines, so I thought I was supposed to actually draw little lines. It's a, um, All right. So from this point on, I like, I, I, I like that's that's effective for me because it, you, I sense you're going down into something. Yeah, because it got dark. I tried to make it still look like darker and darker. Yeah, because the the, <clears throat> the spacing, <clears throat> me, the spacing gets narrower and narrower as you go down. And the one to the right, to the left is this. Um, same kind of a thing. It, uh, this one here. If you start thinking fearfully, you just it can just be you just drop can drop into it, and it's hard to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So that's what that is. And then, is is there a, a essential theme you have? A central theme? 
Like your, I mean, like, is there a story you're, you're, you're telling? Yeah. The well, it, it is, but this isn't the whole story. This is only the beginning parts of it. Um, okay. I love that, that I keep pointing and you don't know what I'm pointing at. Could, could you give me an idea what, this, what, what the, the beginning of the story is? <coughs> the beginning of the story is the beginning of the story is the um, being burdened and and finding a way out of it. Okay, like one of those uh, labyrinths. Yes, but it's not. It's more of bumping up. It's it's not that you're you know the direction, but you keep bumping up against barriers. Okay. Um, I had. Uh, uh, I feel as if. Um, it, it, tell me if if this is the right uh, perspective or not. I feel like what Connie has done here. These symbols are very effective. I think she has described these moods and emotions very very well. But it's almost as if she is using words in whereas. Um, a, um, a painting would be a, a whole story or a paragraph or, or a sentence and, and she's just throwing the words in. So basically she would combine several of these words in order to tell the true story. Is, is that true? You're asking Connie? Uh, either Connie or you guys, I'm just wondering, you know, if that... Yeah, I, 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 I kind of like feel what you're saying, that these are, these are possibilities. I mean, each one is a chapter and it could be a chapter unto itself. It could be part of a sentence. It depends how you, how you work with it. For example, like the one here, this is, for me is a reiteration of what she's saying. You always... You're trying to get somewhere, but all these things are in your way. And she's trying to, it's like here, you're trying to push through, you know, you're trying to yeah, push through this stuff. that is another image of that, only it's starting to bend, you know, it's mm -hmm. starting to push through. Um, the one to the left of that. Yeah, th this one here. Hesitancy. Really it's like you, you're making steps, but then you stop, and then you go further and stop, and you go further, and, but you stop. You yeah, know? Connie, I, I honestly think that the last thing you want to do is try to take all of these things and put them into one image. I think you're going to rob yourself and the audience of the clarity of each experience. experience. Hmm. And think of it like you're, you know, Bill says the 14 stages of the moon or the passion or whatever it might be. Like you go into a church and you see like the 13 or 14 stained glass windows. Yeah. And each it's all one story. It leads from the beginning to the end of this experience. But each one honors that part of the process. It's kind okay. of like it's kind of like you know doing a painting of a grieving spouse, right? Let's say the guy goes off to war, he dies, his wife has to now deal with the reality that he's not there no more, right? So let's say you do a painting like that. Um, or let's say uh, a, a mom whose kid goes off to college, right? There's a part of a joy in there. Like, yeah, he's out of the house, you know? Yeah. And yeah. then there's like, oh, crap. Like, you know, so there's a grieving that you go through. Uh, now, you could do it in one image, or you can tackle the stages of grief which are their own energy, you know? There's a depression, yeah. there's an anger, there's a, a place where you're trying to work out and trying to ne negotiate the process. Then you finally come to acceptance. Each and every one, I mean, and now you have a show, right? You have a, 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 a bigger message um, th that, and then you also have paintings that can hit people at different stages, right? So, um, and that resonate with different people, different stages. So I just encourage you to, you know, not, not try to put all your eggs in one basket here, you know, diversify, but in doing it, 
you're, uh, you're bringing clarity and, and, and more meaning. You know, you're bringing it, you're going deeper. Okay. So, and, so, and honestly, so. if you do this, we're totally fine if you're okay with it. You don't have to. Um, but if you want to tackle these as your five images, that's absolutely fine. I would prefer you doing it because I don't think having a couple, I think you 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 personally are going to get a lot more meaning and I dare say healing going through this process than painting some, some cows and, and, and landscapes and things like that. So, Connie, like Connie do, do you know uh, Edgar Allan Poe? Yeah. Not personally. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> you got me on that one. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, he, he, he was happy. I know who he is. Yeah, I've read his. Right. He, he yeah. was happy. You know, he was happy to be sad. You know, and. Um, well, I'm not happy to be sad. <laughs> well, I'm not saying you are. I'm saying he was. Yeah. That's why he ain't at the AOC. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> he, he, he he tripped out on some some bad stuff, but but um, you know, you reminded me of these these images. The feeling reminded me of that type of image, hmm. you know, that that heaviness. You know, uh, I'm not saying that you are any of that. Just the images. Uh, as part of it, you of that. Just working your way right through something. Yeah, that's and that's 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 the that that I think is really the benefit of your work in the sense that you're showing everyone, no matter where they are, well, always to be working through something. Go ahead, Kakani. Before we assume that this is what you're actually working through. I don't know, maybe this is something you worked through 15 years ago, and, and there's a whole other side of this story that you haven't revealed to us. I have worked through this. Okay, so what is, just, you know, what is it that, because we're only looking at fragments, you know? Yes. We're seeing a little splatter over here, a little something over there, and we're trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about. Right? <laughs> you're like, look at my fingernail. And we're like, oh, wow, that's great. And, you know, we don't really know if it belongs to a person or a puppy or what, you know. <laughs> so give us real quick, like, what is this this project to you? Like, what, what is it to me? Yeah, what is this? Because we, we've only seen the quote-unquote negative side of it, the pain, the pressure. It ends really good. Okay, well, what is that? Freedom. So this is the journey of freedom? Yes. All right, cool. So next week, you're going to then present some energy maps to us about the other side of this, the freedom side of it? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. That sounds cool. And, um, and then uh, next week, do you want to make a decision for us if you're going to explore these images for your um, – uh, for the images that you're going to do at the AOC or if you're going to do the, the other, the other images as well. Okay. I'll, okay. I may need to talk to you about that. Okay. So. Okay. I'm going to call you okay, Connie. Yeah, not right now. No, 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 no. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a big dish of meatballs waiting for me, so I don't want to be rude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I've got to go. I have to go too. To go. Uh, so, Bill, you want to close this out, man? Right on. So, just again, um, peeps, I'm doing an interview tomorrow with a art biz person, if you have any questions about how to run your business and then to the six-figure income, I'm not sure anyone here is interested, but if you're interested, you know, 
you can drop some questions in my message box. What time will that be on? Well, it, it's going to be, I'm going to meet with her at four o'clock. I will, I will, as soon as I finish, I will post it. Oh, it'll be posted later. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Where will it be posted? It'll be on YouTube. It'll be on Facebook. I will, I will put them in, you know, if, if we're friends, you can friend me. If we're mm -hmm. friends, I'll put it into your, into your message box. Oh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Um, oh, also, if you go to artwithbill.com, artwithbill.com, you'll see one of Bill's interviews. Uh, Barbara was so gracious to do one of those. But we're also doing these little 10, 15 minute interviews, like more like 10 minutes that Bill does with people from the AOC. So if you guys are interested, um, just go to Art with Bill, click on the little book, book a little thing with Bill and set up a time and he'll do a little interview with you about, you know, um, your experience. And we were thinking about maybe doing two, like one in the beginning and one kind of like in about three months after you've gone through it. And that way you can kind of see how your experiences are uh, a little different on there. Um, that'd be kind of fun to see, see that. So if you want, you don't have to. Um, if you do, you're awesome. If you don't, well, I don't know what the other, the opposite of awesome is. But <laughs> no, if, you, if you don't, if you don't, you're still, you're still awesome. That, I guess that's what it is. <laughs> just, just, just bear in mind, ladies, that it's a nice way to promote yourself. It's, you know, one of the things that that my guest tomorrow, Maria Broker, says, says the difference between a professional artist and you know, a, I guess a hobby artist. The professional artist is always trying to leverage the environment, taking advantage of coaching, investing in herself or himself, anything they can to get promotion. So it's there, you know, take advantage of it. it that's what professional people do. So that's it. That was freaking good, Bill. Yeah. That was awesome. All right. I'm going to uh, shoot off here. I'm going to uh, see you guys next Sunday. And... Um, Kathy and Deborah, were, you guys are going to post your thrust maps on Thursday, and yes. Wildflower is going to give you guys some feedback on that. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'll give feedback. That's right. Okay. That's right. So, so with that in mind... The only rule is you just can't say, oh, good, and leave it at that. <laughs> Right. Anything outside of that is, is, is okay. Fair enough? Okay. <laughs> so with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we bid you closing out. And the quote for the day is, it is what it is. <laughs> Deep, awesome. man. Good. See you guys later. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>